An axial flow pump or AFV is a common type of pump that essentially consists of a propeller and axial impeller I mean in a pipe. The propeller can be driven directly by a, a cell motor in the pipe or by electric motor or a petrol diesel engines mounted to the pipe from the outside or by a right angle drive shaft that uh, pierces the pipe. Fluid particles in course of their flow through the pump don't change their radial locations since the change in radius at the injury, called suction, and the exit, called discharge, of the pump is very small, hence the name axial pump. And about uh, its operation, I can say that an axial flow pump has a propeller type of impeller running in a casing. The pressure in an axial flow pump is developed by the flow of liquid over the blades of impeller. The fluid is pushed in a direction parallel to the shaft of the impeller, that is fluid particles. In course of their flow through the pump, don't change their radial locations. It allows the fluid to enter the impeller axially and discharge the fluid nearly axially. The propeller of an axial flow pump is driven by a motor. And about single reference frame, I mean SRF method. Actually, the single reference frame's SRF method is enabled to model the rotational movement of the impeller. In this method, which should be enabled like the MRF method, there is only one domain in the solution and there are no other stationary zones. The flow in this zone rotates while the impeller is fixed. After opening the software, click on the z-axis to enter the x-y plane. Here, uh, while we are in sketch mode, draw a two-dimensional sketch using the drawing tools as you can see. Note that when you draw each part, you have to put a size for it. For parts uh, that have multiple sizes, for example both radius and angle, you can switch between sizes using the tab key on the keyboard. After entering each size, click enter on the keyboard to apply. Follow my cursor point. You can see how you uh, can draw this sketch.
Now that your sketch is drawn, you need to make a surface without thickness from it. Uh, click on end sketching to automatically convert this sketch to a surface. Now in this step, you need to name the boundary so that when you mesh the geometry and import it into Fluent software, you can set the boundary conditions. Click on each boundary and uh, select the create an S, enter its name and then click on the enter key on your keyboard. As you can see, here we have inlet and outlet. Also, for these boundaries, create new name selection, walls, this boundary, axis, and finally, these boundaries. Now you must export your geometry from false save as. Here I specify the format for this geometry, for example, IGS, and then click on the save. Back to the working software. Double click on the mesh under the component systems and then drag and drop the geometry in the mesh block. Double click on the mesh to open the ANSYS meshing software. Here at first click on the mesh, change the physics to CFD and change the element size to this value set the mesh quality to high and click on the generate this is the mesh that the software has detected with the size and settings you specified for the geometry as you can see the mesh type is structured but doesn't have a boundary layer it is better to mesh the boundary layer around the walls so that the boundary layer is calculated correctly. This is done with the inflation tool. Right click on the mesh from insert. Choose the inflation here. Select this body for the geometry and for the boundaries. Select all these boundaries. Click on the apply. Specify the number of maximum layers and then click on the generate to create the boundary layer mesh. You can see that a boundary layer has been created around the boundaries that we specified. Draw 10 layers for each edge. And in the last step from File Export you can export this mesh for the Fluent software. Specify the path that you want to save this file and file name and click on To benefit from Mr. CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, visit our website www.mr-cft.com and contact us via info at mr-cft.com.